Rafey with Rafey Chiropractic in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I wanted to bring to you some information that I received this weekend while traveling to Deerfield Beach down near Panama, down actually down near Fort Lauderdale, and bring back some great information that I learned. I was with Fred Schofield, a chiropractor, and Sue Schofield, his wife, and learned a lot of great things. What I'd like to do is go through the list of things we learned and that we can apply to our life and our practice. Uh, some of the things will be commentaries and some of these will be just short bursts of information. But the big thing is, is to stop trying to be in charge. You know, make your decisions and let things happen and realize that there's someone greater than you in charge. Also, chiropractic is an experiential science. Now, chiropractic is something you have to experience to understand. And there's a lot of people who just don't know about it. Chiropractic feels good. So those of you who wonder, does chiropractic feel good or does it hurt? Chiropractic feels good. What you put in life is what you get out of life. That's something you can go into that and think about that. But what you put in, what you get out. So what you want to do in life is reconnect to the universal connection. Re reconnect to that energy out there that runs everything, that connects us all. The philosophy of growth in life is you get bigger by thinking bigger. And you get bigger by doing smaller. And what that means is the, the bigger you get, the bigger dreams you have, the bigger goals you have, that's fantastic. You have to expand your mind. But to get there is one step at a time. So take your goals and take your aspirations and then break it down into steps and focus on the details and then you'll get to your goals. You can't get there except one step at a time. A situation in life becomes favorable when we adapt to it. Adaptation is the key. Things are always changing. Situations are changing. The economy is changing. But it can be favorable if you adapt. So, business is economics. People are not healthy. Has your family been affected by disease? The point of that is, has your family been affected by disease? You know that there's people that are not healthy out there. Get them into your business so you can help them be healthy. In life, we set goals and we have difficulties with certain things and we have great times with other things. But the, really what it comes down to is you are your competition. You are the one that may not be disciplined. The only person that's going to screw up your life is you. So take responsibility for your life, set your goals, move forward. So you want to train your mind and that's what these trainings are all about. Zone in, focus on what you want and have laser beam focus. Focus on where you want to go in your life, whether it's your chiropractic practice, or it's your daily life, or it's your relationship. You want to move in that direction. So you want to find out what you want and do it now. The biggest thing you need to do to reach these big goals we're talking about is to have self-confidence. Don't rush in, take your time, breathe in, breathe out, slow down. You don't have to rush into everything. You need to take a breath, slow down, know your goals, know where you're going, and move forward with that. Know that you're in the right place. Know that your life is where it is and it's supposed to be there, and move forward from there. Pay attention to the metaphysical things around you. Pay attention to the meanings and things, not necessarily what's happening just right in front of you. Look at it. Say, how does this affect my life? What's the true meaning in this? And what can I learn from this so I can either repeat it or so I can not repeat it? We want to get real, get smart, and get organized. And healing in your life is a God-given right. Healing comes from inside in. Healing comes from an internal process in the body. Not externally, not what you put on your skin or the pills you take. Healing, true healing comes from your body making the changes on the inside. And as a chiropractor, we want to make the inside of the body function better by removing the interference. There's a quote that Dr. Fred said, If God is everything, then why do we make things so complicated? If God is with me, calm down, no one can be against me. So, basically, take a little change in your life. Relax. Enjoy life. Life is a good thing. Be committed to your journey. Once you set these goals, be committed to it. Poverty is in your consciousness. There is money everywhere. In Deerfield Beach, Florida, I was down there, and there was... 
I want to say, five or six homes within a few miles of the hotel. I went on a run. A 12,000 square foot condo. Homes for millions of dollars. And people were buying them. So in life and in your business, and whether it's chiropractic or whatever business, there's money out there. So lose the poverty consciousness that there's just not enough out there. There's a plenty to go around. Okay? Life is a narrow road. Many will not, but few will enter. Because you won't be disciplined. You won't pay attention to what you want. You won't really decide what you want. And that's what you want to focus on. I am confident, therefore I am courageous. Confidence builds courageousness, which is the courage, which is the, that's the, what's in you to actually take those steps that we're talking about, one step at a time. Have the courage to dream big, and then have the courage to take a step. And every step we build, builds more confidence, which gives us more courage to keep moving forward. So everything builds on each other, and that's really important to pay attention to. You want to be in alignment with your, your head, your heart and your hands. So you're thinking the right things, you're feeling the right things, and you're doing the right things. Have a specialty. Focus on that specialty. And so when people ask if you can help them, yes you can because that's your specialty. And it's all about training. It's like recording yourself like we're doing here. Playing it back. Was I able to communicate effectively with people? Was I able to be fun to watch? And all that's really important. Whatever you do, finish what you start. Laughter is important. Be in the moment. Be here now. Be focused with the people you're talking to, whether you're their clients or your patients or your family members. Stop thinking about all the other things that are going on. Look them in the eye and really listen to what people have to say. They'll appreciate that. One thing we learned is on ear infections are a sign of constipation. They're not allowing the process of the body to flow. And oftentimes, the ear infection is on the same side of the pelvic subluxation. You can use Thai food oil from the bowels, and you use that to massage the bowels. That's something if you ever are interested in, give me, I can give you more information on that. But being organized is so important. Having a routine, that's called discipline. That's what keeps you going in life. That's what helps you reach those little steps. And you might stumble, but at least you have your discipline, you have your routine. That allows you to keep taking those little steps. Strong words equal strong people in our lives. We have to be able to talk to people, and we have to have strong words, and we have to be able to communicate clearly and effectively, not just babbling. So when you want to be in the moment, be here with the people now. You've got to get excited about life, okay? You've got to get excited, you've got to enjoy life, and enjoy every moment that you have of life. Take baby steps. The greatest things ever done on earth have been done little by little. Pay attention to the details. That's a, a focus that kept coming up this weekend. Okay? Big problems come from losing focus on the little things. And then little things start happening and those build up into big problems. Gaining confidence, gaining courage gives you integrity because you know you're doing the right thing and you're doing it for the right reasons. Okay? Focus on the details. And the minute you think you arrive, that's when you're done. You have to realize that life is constant change and constant growth. And you have to be willing to pay attention to that. And so keep that in mind. The next thing we learned about is the five to seven seconds. This is, is in Blink, it's called thin slicing. But the minute you started watching this video, in the first five to seven seconds, you decided if you were going to finish it. You decided if, hey, I like this guy or I don't like this guy. Okay, when you, every person you meet, every in, in conversation you have, whatever it is, you have five to seven seconds to decide or someone to decide about you what they're doing about the conversation you're having or the decision they have to make. So, the perception of people, and that's what the five to seven seconds is, that's key. That's what life is about. The perception of other people is, that's their reality and that's what we have to deal with.